in this video, we're going to be talking about my favorite cybersecurity books from red teaming to blue teaming to even some purple teaming. So if you guys are enjoying my videos, if you like my content, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, all that stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So I want to be going through the pages here. So first one on my, on my list is definitely Linux Hackers, a Linux Basic for Hackers. I have it right here. I want to go through every single one that I have. So this is awesome, awesome book for beginners. It, it goes through a lot. So, you know, obviously I'm going to go ahead and just do my best to explain what I know about the book, what I've read and all that stuff. So for this one, if you want to learn some scripting, if you want to understand more about cybersecurity and also Kali Linux, it's definitely helpful, right? So I would consider getting this book tomorrow or yesterday or whatever you want to call it, right? So the next one, we'll go through some of the blue teaming stuff. So I have all my blue team books here. So which one is this? This is the incident response. So this is this book right here. Let me see. There you go. So what we can, what, what I want to explain here is if you want to understand more about incident response and learn about like SIM tools and understand the response of an attack, this is definitely something you should get, right? I have this book. I read it. It's an awesome book because I come from more of that red teaming side, right? So understanding a little bit of that blue definitely helps, right? So that's something you should definitely have in your arsenal. And going on to the next one is this is this is an awesome book as well. And it's right here, right? So I have it right here. So blue team handbook, sock, sim, and threat hunting, right? So this is definitely something for use cases. This is a book that I I, I've enjoyed, you know, I've learned so many things from that book. So, you know, and all these books, I have links in the description. So, you, you know, you can purchase them and use the links below and uh, it helps the channel as well. So if you come down here, you can see a little bit about, you know, the, you know, the book and all that stuff. So, yeah, you know, this is what it considers, you know, buying all the blue books, all the blue teaming books. And the next one is the blue team field manual. So that's my last one for the blue team. This is this one right here. So this is definitely a good book. And I haven't really read too much of this to be quite honest. I briefed through it. It was definitely some good stuff to like understanding about the firewalls and how to set up firewalls in Ubuntu and just Linux in, the, in general. And there was some other stuff that I've read in here. Let me see if I can remember. Like patching, definitely Windows patching, that's more blue teaming, uh, recovery, you know, hard drive. There's just so many cool, cool, um, inf so much cool information that you can utilize for your career. So what I do with most of these books is use it more as a reference, if that makes sense. So if I want to reference something, yes, I can go to Google, I can do that. But if I'm on the road, like when I travel for work, if I travel for in pleasure. I always bring a couple of these books so I can read it on the plane or while I'm waiting to board or whatever I'm doing. These are definitely something that's, uh, that, that, that's good content to read. Okay. So the next one here, we have the Linux field manual. That's definitely a good one as well. Let me find it. So it's this one right here. So Linux field manual is definitely a good one too. If you want to just learn more about the Linux operating system, some, you know, there's some cheats, right? You, you know, if you want to do some cheats, you can utilize that. Uh, I read it a little bit. It's not something that I go to every day, but it's definitely a good book to know. So now this gets into the fun stuff, right? The Red Team Field Manual. So there's this first version, which is right here, Red Team Field, Ma uh, field Manual. And this is good because it, you know, references a lot of the Cali stuff, um, just, just a lot of the Nmap, Google Hacking, you know, if you want to learn how to do tunneling, persistence, you know, reverse shells and all that good stuff. You know, it has a lot of good information that you can utilize for your career. And again, as reference, right? So the next one here, I have the field manual V2, right? The red team field manual V2. And it's right here. It's just an upgraded version. I think it's super beneficial for sure. And 
pretty much the same thing. Like I like, you, you know, I like the stuff that they had on wireless in here. And uh, let's see what other cool stuff. Kismic, a lot of the wireless, uh, uh, the Linux wireless commands, you know. And talking about wireless stuff, I want to make some wireless hacking, wireless pen testing videos to just utilize and showcase some of the tools that I use for my wireless engagements. So I just think it would be pretty beneficial. All right, so let's go. There's a couple more books that I have here. So the Purple Team Field Manual is definitely a good one. I picked this up just because, you know, it's purple teaming, right? So, and if you look on the back here, it has blue, red, and then purple. So pretty much what is this saying? Red teaming is obviously penetration testing, uh, a threat emulation, like if I want to emulate a threat, and social engineering, and much more, you know? Purple teaming obviously maxes my, maximizes the red team, the blue team, and then it can improve the security posture. So I'm red, you're blue, we can come together and be a family and uh, make some purple teaming babies, right? Just kidding. But um, proactive defense for the blue team, TTP-based hunting, and vulnerability assessments. So vulnerability assessment can be blue and it can also be red. So if I'm doing an engagement, I'll do a vulnerability assessment in order to find my vulnerabilities in order to exploit them, if that makes any sense. But yeah, a lot of in-house IT, cybersecurity teams have like Rapid7, they have their vulnerability committee that sits in-house that will be on the operations team that will look through the vulnerabilities and all that stuff, okay? And then last but not least, my operation handbook. This is another awesome, awesome book. This is super, super, super useful. I, I've been reading this. I got this about two weeks ago and um, it's definitely informative. Uh, you know, obviously there's so much information. What is it? Um, it's about 300 pages. So these are definitely awesome, awesome books to read. Obviously Red Team plus OSINT, which is open source intelligence, plus some blue teaming references. Just remember folks, these aren't gonna answer every single question, but it's definitely a good reference to go to when you have a question in your head and maybe you, know, you don't have Google next to you I guess you can have Google next to you all the time if you have your cell phone, but you know what I mean. It's definitely good books to have in your arsenal. I love all these books. There's some books that I need to read a little more. And obviously, if you want to get into like penetration testing for books wise, you can get like your pen test plus. And I have the books over there because that's something on my radar as well as the PMPT. But obviously life, work, family, all that stuff comes, uh, comes first, right? So yeah, so hopefully you guys find this, this video informative. If you have any questions about the books and what I wanna do once I hit 30,000 subscribers, I wanna actually do a little giveaway on maybe a blue team, a red team, and a purple team book. So yeah, so stay tuned and uh, more giveaways. I gave away a wireless card. I gave away um, some of my like merch, like a, like a, I don't really have merch, but you know what I mean? I have a, uh, coffee mug with InfoSec Pat. Uh, you know, I gave that a, a few of those away. But yeah, just, you know, follow me on the socials, Twitter, Instagram, obviously subscribe to my channel here. And those are really the main ones I'm on, Twitter, Instagram, and, and, and YouTube. Um, I took a break from Facebook. I don't really have Facebook at the moment. So yeah, just hopefully this finds you, uh, this, this, this video is informative. So thank you so much for viewing. I'm sorry that I went to blah, blah, blah. But I just want to give you guys the insight of what's happening. Thank you so much and have a good day, folks.